Alexander, can you show those pictures? Oh, the pictures are not so... I will just have a short interruption of the, of the lab because... Uh, I will just have a short interruption uh, of the lab uh, today. Uh, we were just uh, visiting one cinema and uh, they have a problem with their chairs, uh, similar to ours, but our chairs were really uh, d destroyed uh, and cut. You know, they were there for more than half of the centuries and they looked uh, <laughs> awful. Unfortunately, we are a private-owned cinema and we can't get access to any support uh, to replace technical equipment or chairs. And I had to be very, very innovative how to uh, replace the old chairs with the new one. Actually, the chairs we did are the old one, but they are just decorated to look like new. And wh what we did we used, uh, 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 and how we actually got enough money to do that, uh, we, uh, we worked with locals. There, there is a guy, which is a very good friend of mine, and uh, uh, he, he's, a work, he's a designer. So uh, these photos you see on our chairs, it's not the photos. Uh, he, he, made, uh, it's, uh, he made it like a handmade pictures of, uh, uh, on some chairs. And as you can see, uh, the the whole um, the whole cinema hall is in red, but there are a few chairs which are uh, black and just one which is green, uh, and it looks really amazing, and the audience really loves that. And it's it was a very creative and a non-expensive way to replace uh, the old chairs with the new one. So uh, the guy uh, who decorated the chairs and. La la la. <laughs> Do you expect me to? Ah, it works now. <laughs> Good. Thank you. <clears throat> so the guy who uh, replaced the textile uh, was the guy uh, from my city, and I told him that we have a problem. We wants to do that, and it it it's just simply unaffordable to us. So uh, he did the best to find the textile, which is, uh, uh, you know, very good quality. And he gave us, uh, uh, he didn't charge us, uh, you know, when you are going to buy something, they, then they calculate the textile, their hands, their this and that. He gave us the production price. So uh, it was affordable because we worked together and we created like a kind of story from it and you c you could adapt the chair so that's how we uh, raised the budget to pay him at least something for you know 253 seats is really a lot of job to do and this guy who made this uh, 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 it's not a photos it's uh, uh, it's uh, I don't know how to call this tech uh, techniques because because no one ever did it before uh, uh, so he did it for free. So. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Uh, uh, he's gonna charge you for that, <laughs> but you're gonna get the, you know something which works for sure. And people, you know, when they are buying the uh, when they are buying the tickets, uh, there are chairs, you know, which are adapted. And when we have some shows or events, uh, those people who adapt the chairs all needed to have these seats because they bought it. I mean, bought it. And uh, they are, you know, they, when they are asking for that uh, chairs, 
uh, they are, you know, they used to say, we, we can pay double price for a, for a ticket because we just want to sit on it. So that's the way how you can uh, raise the budget. So sorry for this short interruption. Thank you, Alexander. Uh, even though the photos are not so good. So I always sit here. Sure, sure. That's exactly what we did. But we uh, we call we didn't call that like uh, advertising or sponsorship or nothing. We just said the adopt your chair. Like you adopt your pet, now you can adopt your chair. So the audience pays, paid for a replacement of the textile. Thank you for and sorry for in interrupting. Uh, th the floor is all yours, honey. Can you switch, Alexander, from this to... Um, ah, okay. Oh, good. Good, good. Uh, our, uh, our f the fourth session we have is uh, rethinking the cinema experience, the theater environment, and services. And we, al al we already met Eva Demeter. Uh, she's young, innovative, full of energy. And uh, uh, she had... She has actually, uh, she has a very good application that uh, she's gonna show us now how it works, what are the goals, uh, what they got with that, and what are the results. So Eva, can you? I know uh, he actually, uh, he, has, uh, he has a problem because he doesn't speak this time, you know, this is, the floor is all mine, so <laughs> he's frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, that was the nicest introduction I ever had in my life, so thank you so much. Um, oh yeah, Very useful. Okay, so uh, I'm going to talk short about our application, which is called uh, Mozi Click. It's, uh, Mozi means uh, cinema in uh, Hungarian, <coughs> and actually I was the one, I mean, it, I'm kind of proud of that because I was the one finding out the name of the application when we were on a holiday. I was like writing down different ideas and when uh, <coughs> I found out this one, I was like, oh, this is the one. It should be called Cinema Click because we want the people to click on the application, to download it, and it's also a word in English to click, I mean to gather together in like small groups and go and see a program together. So actually all, um, all the idea started with the Europa Cinema's Next Change program. So this is kind of an advertisement. If you haven't been on this uh, <laughs> program, then this is the really good uh, chance to see uh, other people's cinemas. And uh, Alexander was my help finding a similar cinema to ours in uh, Austria. You could see a picture of us, uh, my family, because we were uh, visiting Cinema Paradiso in St. Pölten. Uh, it's a town uh, close to Vienna. And um, actually we we saw how they are working. They already had a loyal loyalty card system, which we found really interesting. And that's how the idea came that we would like to have our own loyalty card. And as I said in my presentation uh, yesterday, we always dream big. So we wanted to have not only our loyalty card system, but we also found connected services with them. And uh, that was the mobile application, a self-service kiosk outside of our terrace. And um, we also dreamed of a film and drink stock market. I will tell you uh, in a bit what does it mean. And also we installed a coin-operated toilet turnstiles. I mean, I, I hope that's the, that's the word for that, you know, that the one that you are turning and you entering, you have to put some money into the machine. Is that the word? 
Oh, anyway, it's not so important. I'm not going to talk about the toilets, but the, <laughs> the application itself. Okay, so all we had to do is when we had the idea to find, of course, some financial resources and the IT company who is going to develop the software if itself because we were not able to do so on our own. Uh, we also had to put uh, money in marketing because when you have a new service, uh, you just have to let the people know that you do have the new service to use it. And um, we were uh, experimenting whether if it's working or not. And uh, there were also some problems uh, with the application, so we had to change uh, a couple of things, but that's, I guess, that's how it works when you have a new system. You just find out in the way when you are using it that some things are not working or it has to be changed. So we reshaped it. You could also see, is there a point? In what the, ah. So there, were, uh, there was a graphic designer designing the logo and uh, these were her um, drafts. And uh, actually we chose the first one representing the application which could be downloaded from the uh, Google Play and the App Store because we thought that uh, people coming to the cinema are like O's, like, like people who are like... Uh, uh, who wants to stay up late and uh, spend their night in a cultural place. So that's why the, um, this became the symbol of the, the application. <clears throat> so as I said, it could be downloaded easily from those two um, stores. And it's offering new services in our cinema. So you could buy your ticket online, you could reserve a table through the application. There is the so-called film stock market in the application, and you could also pay by uh, the loyalty card. We call it club card, but actually it's, it's the same as a loyalty card. Uh, that's the self-service kiosk, which we installed outside of our cinema because we had the problem that people were queuing up too much in our cafe and the front door couldn't close because there were so many people standing in the way and they were like... Uh, um, I mean, others couldn't go to the, to the toilet because they were standing there, so we thought that the perfect place for this uh, self-service kiosk would be outside of our cinema. And, oh, oops, how can I go back? Oh, this way. So that's like uh, when they installed it, uh, they put uh, some kind of a glass uh, above it because it's raining a lot and we had to protect the machine. And that's my family trying out the, the first uh, ticket sale. So it all starts actually with a picture of our cinema and then you could enter to the menu. It's um, really easy now for the audience to buy the ticket outside of the cinema any time of the day. Uh, you could also order food and drinks to your table. You could recharge your, your uh, loyalty card. And um, that's how it looked like. In this uh, winter, we bought an uh, igloo. Is that the word? Yeah. An igloo because uh, actually this is a place for our terrace, which is functioning from May to October, but since the winters are really cold in Hungary, we wanted to provide a place for people outside, so you could heat the igloo and you could have uh, extra space uh, for people to sit down and buy more drinks. Okay, so this, uh, this club card looks like, like, like this, because that's the logo of our cinema. In my opinion, it could be more attractive, but uh, that's how it looks like now anyway. Uh, so it offers 5% discount in the cafe for all the products. There is also a 15% discount for the cinema and concert tickets and for other programs. You could purchase it for that amount. It, there is a different amount for students and adults. And it could be recharged anytime, so you could always have money on it. So it's, it's more like a credit card. And it expires in one year, but actually people use it so much that um, they are spending money from it and then they are uh, recharging it all the time. So it's not like something that uh, they leave money on it and then they don't use it. It's like used continuously. And about this uh, new service that we have, and we call it Film and uh, 
Why did I say? Oh, anyway, so it's a film trade stock market. I combined the two words, but never mind. Um, so it's actually the goal was to find out uh, a service which provides uh, a communal program organization for the audience, meaning that there is a list of films and they could choose whichever film they would like to see on a on a time that they are choosing. So uh, they decide what to see and they can start this uh, so-called film stock market on our cinema's website and also uh, via the mobile application. And the more people they gather around them, the prices go down. And yeah, we also had the idea to engage schools too to use this system, but uh, actually they are not really they are not really into this uh, kind of program. They are like better calling us and telling us what time they would like to come and, and see the film, but actually it would be possible for schools as well to use this, uh, this service. And what we are not having yet, because it's uh, under development by, the, by our IT guy, is the drink stock market, and our uh, goal would be an innovative and entertaining service to install in our cinema, meaning that when you enter, you have a huge screen in the cafe, and then uh, people could follow the prices on the screen, and they could see like certain uh, type of alcohol if they are like buying, for example, I don't know, this, this, this really good um, cherry, beer here that they the the more they buy again the prices go down so if they are coming inside with the with friends then uh, they would know what to order if they want to save some money because it would appear on the screen that now you should buy this type of alcohol because the prices are, are going down or if you like another type of alcohol then now is the time to buy more of that type and then the prices will also go down does it make sense? Okay. So, uh, yeah, as everything, it also had some positive and negative effects. So with the club card system and the film stock market, we had a new service uh, installed. We had new audiences because they thought it's really cool to to have this uh, application because as far as I know, no other cinemas, I mean art cinemas have such system in, in Hungary. The mobile application attracted more young people. Um, the outside kiosk was good because people didn't have to queue and they could um, buy the tickets uh, without queuing up. With the coin-operated toilet system, because you can go to the toilet for free if you have the club card, because it's, it works with the club card. In, and it's like, you know, better for us to have cleaner toilets because sometimes people were just entering to the cinema, not even buying anything and going down to the toilet and then it all became a mess. But anyway, some people were complaining that there is no free usage of the toilet anymore and we just told them you just need to purchase a, a club card and then you could go for free forever. We also uh, created a new image of our cinema which uh, was like a more innovative, fresh, and experimental um, attitude towards people and the residents. The downside of the mobile application was that we had to actually um, tell older people how to use it, but now I, I see many elderly people coming and having it on their phone, so at the end they learned it, but in the beginning they were not really familiar with the application and using any kind of application. Yeah, because the club card, I mean the loyalty card offers discount. Um, our revenue is smaller if they, the audience purchases purchase the tickets with the club card, but at the, on the other hand, they are uh, spending more in the cafe. About the film stock market, we just found out that maybe that's the service that we need to change a little bit because the, the audience uh, wanted to see other films, uh, not the ones that we were listing because we were 
mainly offering the films which were on, on screening from the past few weeks, and sometimes they just want to see an archive film. But you know, like, uh, you have to store it on your DCP somewhere in the background, so it, it cannot be just any film, because you, you, you cannot provide a screening all of a sudden. So we had to make a list to choose from, but we are thinking to redesign this uh, service a little bit. Yeah, and um, some key learnings. Uh, we also had to have our colleagues on board and believe, make them believe that these new services will be uh, working. With the, um, with the service that you could order your, your food and drinks to the table, some of the people working in the cafe had to go out to the tables being like a waitress and waiters, which required other type of skills from them. So it was not so easy to, to get them on board. And that meant that we need more people because some of them were still standing in the cafe serving the people and others had to go out when there was like uh, some order to the table. And implementing new services takes time, energy, effort. And uh, actually we had to um, combine all our system into one. So it wasn't just like, you know, making one new mobile application, but also our administrative system had to be compatible with the mobile application system and also the toilet operation system is installed somehow in, in it. I don't really know much about the, the IT side of it, but it was like a huge work combining all the systems together. And we, we had to find, of course, financial resources. We financed this uh, project from three different ways. One was the natural, well, National Cultural Fund. The other was the Creative Europe Tender, the Resonance Cinema that we were together uh, with Mariana. And of course, we put some own investment into the project but it was to invest in something unique and the audience will most probably uh, remember us for sure having such a unique uh, application. And I, it's on my phone, but I think it's too small to show it now in, on the front, so in the, I will be in, around and if you wanna see it, it's installed on my phone. Thank you. We, we still have, um, yeah, 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 Eva. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe I lost it uh, during your introduction, but uh, um, how many grant you, how many money you spend for this project investment, your own investment was? I only know it in foreign, so I need to calculate. Well, just the mobile application was like um, 15 million forints at least, so it's like, uh, let me... <laughs> Divided by 400, it's like 37,500 euros. How much? 37,500 euros, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah I think so. I the mobile application. No, I'm no, saying just the mobile. Company. No, yeah. that's he the. Was asking for the your company's investment. Ah, okay. Then that wasn't too much because we were financed by the Creative Europe, and I've really put the IT development into the project. We also had to have, because it was financed by Creative Europe 80% and the 20% we applied for the National Cultural Fund. And of course we had some, our own investment, but it wasn't too much like, um, I don't know, like 3,000 euros, not more than that. I have a question about that kiosk. Mm -hmm. How does it color, uh, colorate with the um, uh, internet shop? You probably sell also tickets on the internet. So yeah. why do I have to come to the kiosk? Why can't I buy on the phone and the internet? Is it the same yes. or it differs? No, it's totally the same. So what you see on our website, you see in the mobile application, and it's also the same on the self-service kiosk. It's just really 
kind of a new service that um, you don't have to queue, and if you are an L older person, then not using but the mobile. You don't have to queue on your phone at home. Yeah, you can buy. Ah, okay, and yep. it, it's uh, qu how popular is it, or can you say it is? It is. It is yeah. I mean, I don't know by statistics how many people are standing in front, but uh, we have kind of an older com community as well in our town, so they are still calling the phone or the how it's called the wire. The, what is the one that's uh, you know ringing in the office and you cannot move that phone? So it's like, can I like reserve a table? And then we are telling. Of course, yes, yes, yes. It's just an innovative service that they are, you know, if we are not open, because we are open from three in the afternoon and they stop by and they are walking past, then they can just buy their ticket in advance or recharge the club card. Uh, so does that mean that uh, Kiosk works as an online uh, ticket service? Yes. Yes. So it's yes. the same interface that you can do it either, like the cashier probably will have the same interface, the kiosk has the same interface, and the yeah. mobile application has the same interface. Yes, that's what we had to connect, so it, it wasn't really yeah. like two years of work. More questions? Thank you, Eva. Thank you. Uh, so next one is also coming from Hungary, and it's uh, Balash Naj. Have I pronounced your name correctly? Because you are my neighbor, so I know how to pronounce hun Hungarian. So the floor is all yours. Thank you. So, okay, where can I have this? Thank you. So, mm -hmm. okay. so uh, the, my uh, topic of my current presentation, if uh, it's a secret cinema program, which we organized the summer of 2022 in uh, six cinemas of Budapest film, and uh, the French Institute as well. So the project was, uh, of course, completed with a collaborative innovate program of uh, Europa Cinemas. And uh, we received a uh, huge help from the French partner. Uh, they uh, find us to this program, and uh, it was very attractive to we could uh, organize a program like this with a large French city. So it was uh, successfully completed between uh, the 1st of June and 11th, the six cinemas of uh, Budapest film. And a little bit later, it was held in Paris as well. So uh, basically, we uh, invited the, the viewers, the customers, to a game which uh, took place through a phone application. So the first project was to force them to <laughs> uh, download this application. Uh, after that, they had to uh, find hidden places uh, in the cities uh, with a map. And there uh, they are uh, scanning a sign, uh, signals, and uh, after that we'll, the game could start. The, the game was like a memory game or, uh, or like Pokemon hunting, so it's a VR games. But uh, of course not the game was the main point. Uh, and the end of the game, they were uh, invited to a surprise <coughs> secret movie screening. So, not surprisingly, the hiding places was uh, one of our cinemas. It was Taban, Toldi, Pushkin, Kino, Corvin, and Mewes cinemas. Uh, and the participants of the game received points uh, in each hiding places, and they could uh, uh, use to a secret, uh, used to participate in secret evenings and uh, even they received a gift. The grand prize was a trip to the Secret Cinema Festival in Paris. So the goal was also to be able to attract new guests who basically don't go any art house cinemas at all with this game. So the film offer was very nice and uh, very tempting, but due to 
to the nature of the game, we could not use it to the promotions. So with the films, uh, not has been shown on uh, in Hungary, and I think nor in France. Uh, so they, they were unique films for a uh, niche audience. Uh, the main organizer of the project bought the film rights for the project's uh, budget, and uh, everyone took care of the copies. So we should uh, subtitling in our countries the copies. It was, it was our, our task. Uh, so we uh, follow the French communication concept. Uh, Maybe, uh, however, we needed to localize it uh, to our country. It, it could be more uh, efficient. The Instagram work less in Hungary. Uh, uh, we have utilized our Facebook and other Budapest film platforms uh, to reach the audience. So uh, we used maybe all or uh, communication forces. Uh, we received uh, some feedback from the users. The younger, younger users uh, enjoyed the app. Uh, of course, a few of them find a few mistakes and discovered some discrepancies between the app and other platforms. Uh, maybe there was short time. Uh, but the feedbacks, we conclude that the Hungarian public is uh, less open to secret cinemas, secret cinemas even than the French public. Uh, we have to work in it. Uh, yes, uh, the model of the consumption in Paris and Paris uh, in Budapest are quite different. Uh, we we have difficulties to uh, catch the Hungarian audience. Uh, maybe it was the uh, it was the beginning of the summer, and uh, there was a other big festival in Budapest, so it could be <coughs> not the best uh, time timing. Okay, uh, here you can show the admissions. So uh, maybe it's first time it wasn't a big success. Uh, we we tried to get the ages, and uh, the conclusion was uh, these people was uh, younger than or uh, the other uh, audience of us. So it's a, it could be a good way to get younger audience. Uh, so, sorry. so finally, the uh, Hungarian audience reacted very well on social media. So when we get some feedback, it was great. You know, there was a, uh, so it was a nice uh, viewer everywhere in Instagram, in Facebook. The 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 visual was the same, and it was good. Uh, there was a lot of uh, downloads. It was quite satisfying, the downloads, but it uh, doesn't uh, transform into sales. But uh, probably because it's the late spring period and uh, some people just was happy to get the uh, right to buy a ticket, but they don't want to buy a ticket. Uh, so maybe that's it. Okay, thank you. Does anyone have any questions? No. Thank you, the question. Okay. Uh, what, do you, what do you think uh, is, uh, 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 what, was, what do you think that was the main reason why the audience in France reacted better than uh, Hungarian audience? Is it, a, is it the preferences of the audience or maybe the way uh, they communicate to the program? Or the, what is your... I think uh, this was a, a very huge step and, and more steps. So first of all, uh, I think we have to promote uh, secret cinemas 
Uh, you told me in Prague there is both the success, the secret cinemas. Uh, in Hungary there is, that is not known as well. Uh, the next step is the application, uh, using an application like Mosiclick, or uh, we are working on it. Uh, and and uh, use a game to get the tickets. It's an uh, other steps, and uh, it's it's three steps. It was too much, I think, for the Hungarians. Maybe step by step. Does anyone? Do you have more questions? Okay. So thank you very much. And yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, and lastly. Um, we are having Valerio from Cinema Trisi in Rome. Uh, so yeah, well, the floor is yours, Valerio. <laughs> With translation, of course. Sorry. <laughs> Hi everybody, first of all, thanks for the help. Um, I'm sorry for my English, I think it's getting even worse, so it's better to speak in Italian. I would like to uh, thank Europa Cinemas for the invitation. Bravo, bravo. Ehm, allora, mi è stato chiesto di eh, raccontare un pochino eh, una parte della nostra storia. Noi siamo un cinema di Roma eh, a Trastevere che ha riaperto da un anno ma che nasce da un'esperienza molto particolare perché oltre 12 anni fa abbiamo occupato un altro cinema per salvarlo da demolizione e riconversione in parcheggi e appartamenti. So I'm going to tell you a bit about our story. Uh, we are a cinema in Rome that opened a year ago, but actually our story is a bit longer since it started 12 years ago in a different uh, cinema of Rome. Ora siamo una fondazione, eh, ci siamo costituiti, siamo stati associazione per dieci anni, siamo diventati una fondazione pochi mesi fa, eh, siamo tutti under 35, abbiamo quindi un cinema da 300 posti, una monosala attiva a Trastevere e un festival cinematografico d'estate gratuito. We used to be association, but since the last couple of months we have become a foundation. We have a cinema that is like a single uh, screen of 300 seats, and we also organize an event in the summer. La sala che gestiamo a Trastevere, che si chiama Cinema Troisi, è eh, nell'ultimo anno diciamo, cinematografico, è stata premiata come monosala d'Italia con maggiori spettatori e abbiamo registrato 60.000 spettatori durante il primo anno di gestione. Uh, our cinema is called Cinema Troisi e abbiamo been awarded per il cinema con the most spectators in the whole. Uh, il numero? 60.000. Mm -hmm. uh, 60.000 spectators. Quindi siamo passati da un'esperienza completamente illegale di occupazione di un cinema, ma di gestione di questo cinema come uno spazio pubblico, quindi pagavamo le bollette, c'erano le uscite d'emergenza, gli estintori, cioè non era un centro sociale vero e proprio, a una gestione completamente legale di un'esperienza culturale. At first we started it as an illegal occupation since we wanted to save the cinema from being destroyed and made into uh, parking lots and apartments. So we started by paying all the bills and now we have become a legal open cinema. E la sfida più grande è stata quella con uh, il più possibile coerenza trasformare un'esperienza illegale in un'esperienza istituzionale, seppur nella più totale capacità diplomatica essere conflittuali all'interno delle istituzioni. So one of the biggest challenges for us has been to create this space from illegal to institutional with the help of different institutions. 
un terreno che almeno in Italia non era stato percorso perché solitamente o si era completamente istituzionali o si era una realtà di movimento sociale ma non, non ci sono grandi realtà che vengono dalle occupazioni e che hanno mantenuto una vena eh, conflittuale all'interno delle istituzioni. So very rarely you would find that uh, a place like this, uh, a reality like this, uh, institutional would help in this sort of situation. E quindi l'idea quando nel, 2000, nel 2012 abbiamo occupato questo cinema, nel 2014 ci hanno sgomberato, eh, il Ministero ha posto dei vincoli per la tutela e per dieci anni c'è stata una battaglia legale. So basically there has been since 2012 a legal battle of, of 12 years to save the cinema. E l'idea è stata quella di trasformare il racconto di un cinema occupato nel racconto dei ragazzi che avevano occupato questo cinema. Quindi dieci anni fa la nostra pagina Facebook da Cinema America Occupato è diventata i ragazzi del Cinema America. So our story we wanted to make it from occupied cinema to a cinema of uh, free and young guys to, to help the cinema open. And we had a page Facebook to save the occupied cinema and make it a real one. E uh, come principali sfide che abbiamo dovuto affrontare è stato uh, la capacità di confrontarsi con le istituzioni, in particolare con i tempi della burocrazia, perché naturalmente quando si agisce nell'illegalità ogni tuo idea di fatto la, la rendi possibile perché non hai regole, non hai permessi, autorizzazioni da richiedere, mentre se sei un'istituzione devi seguire dei tempi della burocrazia che a volte richiedono sei anni ad esempio per aprire un cinema so e base... non 20 minuti. Mm -hmm. So basically our uh, principal challenge was the bureaucracy presented because sometimes uh, in Italy you would need six years to resolve an issue and not 20 minutes for example. I, tuoi, I 20 minuti erano stati necessari per distruggere la porta del Cinema America ad entrare dentro. And we needed uh, 20 minutes to just destroy the door of the cinema. Con una mazzetta e un frullino. Uh, see, with just the materials. <laughs> e, um, cosa è stato efficace? Eravamo un'esperienza, un gruppo di 25 persone, una grande capacità comunicativa e mediatica, ma eh, quel che è stato più efficace è stato anche il più grande problema e cioè il gruppo ha deciso e valutato già nel 2012 che questa società avesse bisogno di un volto, di una persona in cui riconoscersi e in cui porre la propria fiducia. So, uh, we were a group of 25 guys, uh, but we decided, our association decided that we needed a face for the association, somebody to speak to the public. E questo ha funzionato, perché ha portato l'esperienza a crescere, a partecipare a un bando, a trovare sponsor, finanziamenti, aprire il festival all'aperto, partecipare a un bando, vincerlo e aprire un cinema. So this functioned since we uh, had a lot of sponsors, a lot of uh, public calls in order to finance the whole uh, project. Ma allo stesso tempo questo ha completamente logorato quella persona, cioè io, dal piano pubblico fino ad arrivare a una ricerca totale di un passo indietro enorme rispetto all'esposizione. But it's also burdened this person, so me, since I had to do a lot of research and go take one step, step back. Il gruppo è rimasto sempre unito, c'è una componente di 7-8 persone che sono da sempre all'interno del gruppo, che è il gruppo più politico, eh, al quale si sono affiancate nel tempo persone invece legate più al cinema, eh, che vogliono studiare cinema e vogliono fare cinema. Quindi indicativamente c'è una parte del gruppo che non lavora nella gestione del cinema, ma fa parte del collettivo politico e una parte invece che lavora nel cinema perché vuole fare cinema nella vita. Dentro i soci ci sono anche avvocati, dottori e quanti altri. So uh, the main group is of seven and eight people that started the, and continued the whole management, but a lot of people joined later uh, because mainly they are film lovers. So some people obviously are doctors, they're advocates, uh, lawyers, sorry, uh, but others are just film lovers that support the project. E della vecchia iniziativa di quello che abbiamo in qualche modo 
eh, portato avanti nei primi anni è rimasta la volontà di non essere mai, mai, mai elitari, mai eh, cercare, cioè di cercare sempre un, eh, un, un, dei momenti di grande coinvolgimento popolare trasversale tra il pubblico, non legato a un gusto o anche semplicemente a ideologie politiche. So um, our initial will remained and that is to create a community to connect people but not only of one specific taste or political view. E ehm, in questo nei primi anni non abbiamo mai pensato al fattore economico fino al 2017 fino al 2018 noi abbiamo sempre proposto progetti, anche quando non avevamo soldi, abbiamo aperto, avevamo un, un cinema all'aperto e poi ne abbiamo aperti tre con gli stessi soldi di uno, abbiamo aperto un cinema al chiuso, abbiamo, cioè, abbiamo firmato che avremmo aperto un cinema al chiuso rispetto all'ente pubblico che aveva fatto un bando senza avere i fondi dell'investimento, quindi abbiamo sempre lanciato il cuore oltre l'ostacolo eh, e oggi questo è cambiato. So at first we never thought of the financial aspect of things. We wanted to create project even when we didn't have the funds necessary. We, for example, created one festival uh, outdoors completely for free. Also, we managed the cinema with no funds because we just wanted to put our hearts first and then money. But this has changed. E abbiamo aperto il nostro primo cinema appunto nel il 21 settembre del 2021 con l'anteprima di Titan con Giulia Ducourneau e Van Salandon e da quel momento in poi io sono completamente crollato, cioè sono andato in down anche perché ho avuto una perdita familiare importante. So on the 21st September in 2021 we opened the cinema, but after a bit I completely crashed since the lockdown covid pandemic. E così ho studiato insieme agli altri ragazzi come si potesse proseguire in qualche modo anche con eh, da un lato una mia assenza maggiore perché mi sono dedicato ad altro e nello stesso tempo potenziando ogni aspetto su cui noi da autodidatti non eravamo più in grado di sostenere eh, il confronto, cioè sentivamo che noi che avevamo fondato il gruppo non eravamo più in grado di portarlo avanti e in qualche modo eh, valorizzarlo e farlo crescere ancora di più. So it was very difficult for me and all the other, other guys that uh, we worked together to continue with the project for a time uh, since yeah, we, we found it very difficult. E così abbiamo trovato delle persone che adesso fanno parte dell'ufficio ma non sono dei soci. La fondazione che gestisce il cinema, il cinema all'aperto, il cinema Troisi e il nostro festival all'aperto ha nove dipendenti che lavorano tutto l'anno su tutti i progetti e all'interno di questi nove So uh, this is how we found nine guys that have been helping us out throughout the whole year. Uh, for example, during this festival, uh, outdoors, during the cinema. E eh, abbiamo coinvolto personalità che venivano dal mondo della produzione a livello economico, quindi c'è una ragazza che è, è esperta in sviluppo economico, cosa che prima non avevamo, una ragazza che è esperta in critica cinematografica, cosa che prima non avevamo, una ragazza che viene prettamente dal mondo della comunicazione non cinematografica, perché non abbiamo mai voluto qualcuno che si occupasse di cin comunicazione cinematografica, ma parlare sempre un linguaggio trasversale, e questa cosa ha una ragazza che invece si occupa dell'ufficio stampa e questa cosa ha fatto crescere molto l'esperienza, soprattutto da settembre in poi, a livello anche di produzione culturale. So these nine people really helped us since all of them were experts in fields we were not. We had one in uh, development, one in communications, one in cinematographic and they really, really helped us to make the project even bigger. A livello di investimenti e di ritorno all'investimento adesso col senno di poi possiamo dire che tutto ha funzionato. Eh, il cinema Trisi è in positivo già dal suo primo anno di gestione e stiamo lavorando su un business plan, come anticipavo scherzando l'altro giorno, per aprire altre due sale, con un piano di ritorno dell'investimento entro dieci anni. So, uh, when uh, we talk about the return on investment, we are now having a business plan for the next, year, for the next years and we would like to open two more cinemas. E per concludere, ehm, 
è molto particolare perché eh, la nostra esperienza di fatto a Roma ma anche in Italia eh, politicamente ha fatto due cose oltre a riaprire un cinema e aprire un festival di cinema all'aperto una è... vai <ride> So uh, we managed as a cinema of Rome to uh, get two goals done. Una è stata denunciare le associazioni di categoria, distributori e produttori che si erano messe d'accordo per bloccare la concessione dei film pagati ai distributori ma proiettati, questo è molto importante, pagati ai distributori ma proiettati gratuitamente nelle piazze. So the first thing that we managed is to pay pay all the distributors, but at the same time having free outdoors events. The association. The association. Okay. E, mh, detto bene? Okay. E, mh, scusa. E, mh, e questa battaglia legale che ha durato tre anni eh, è stata molto conflittuale. La Guardia di Finanza è entrata nelle sedi delle associazioni di categoria, ha sequestrato gli hard disk, ha sequestrato tantissimo materiale, lettere, e alla fine ha condannato le associazioni di categoria rispettivamente più o meno per un totale di 300.000 euro di multa tra tutte le associazioni di categoria. So this was a very long legal battle over three years and we were condemned for uh, quanto? 300.000 euros, the association. Una battaglia stupida perché nata dal fatto che si credeva che la proiezione di vecchi film all'aperto come potesse essere un film di Hitchcock o un film di comunque un anno fa, quindi uscito dal circuito commerciale corrente, potesse levare pubblico alle sale. So it was very important because thus we were able to show all the old classics like Hitchcock uh, out in the open for free for the public. Non veniva mai proiettato un film della stagione corrente, cioè se c'era un'arena, un cinema all'aperto che faceva un film a pagamento, noi non lo proiettavamo. If uh, for example we had to pay for it, if people had to pay for it, we wouldn't uh, show it. E noi invece dicevamo no, ma questo progetto, questa possibilità di fruire il cinema gratis sul grande schermo non solo combatte le piattaforme e riabitua le persone a stare al grande, davanti al grande schermo collettivamente a vedere i film, ma riporterà gente al cinema. We wanted not only to make people get used to going to the cinema, but also making them love the cinema, become a habit by showing these free films to them. Anche perché se noi abbiamo paura dei film vecchi all'aperto sul grande schermo, allora non capisco come non facciamo la guerra a Netflix, Mobi e tutti gli altri che con 9 euro ci danno accesso a tutto il patrimonio cinematografico. Because if we, for example, are able to do this big screen outdoors for free for the old classic, I don't see why we don't even battle Netflix and all the other for the uh, cinematographic uh, heritage. Ad esempio per noi le piattaforme non sono assolutamente un nemico, anzi è qualcuno con cui lavorare perché spesso digitalizzano i film e se ci si parla e ci si lavora si riesce a portare sul grande schermo opere altrimenti che non avremmo digitalizzate. Sì. E, la, ad esempio per noi le piattaforme non sono un nemico perché digitalizzano opere che noi a nostra volta parlando con loro possiamo proiettare sul grande schermo. Uh, for us, uh, all of these platforms, for example, are not uh, an enemy because they let us uh, digitalize all of these films and show them once again. E che altrimenti non avremmo in, uh, in DCP, in digitale. Otherwise we wouldn't have them in DCP. E questo eh, alla fine eh, è stata una grande vittoria perché soprattutto ha fatto capire alle piccole realtà indipendenti, dei piccoli paesi, delle piccole eh, città che non riuscivano più a fare queste rassegne cinematografiche, anche altri esercenti eh, come noi facevano proiezioni gratuite all'aperto, penso al cinema Beltrade di Milano, che non riuscivano più a ottenere film. Dopo questa battaglia tutti riescono a ottenere film, pagando film vecchi, ma riescono a ottenerli. So this was a great uh, victory for us because it showed all of the little cinemas they were showing retrospectives that now they could legally do it, pay and show the old classics. E lì ci sono state quindi una battaglia legale vinta, una battaglia culturale vinta, ma anche la battaglia economica, perché se il Cinema Torisi oggi è la monosala d'Italia con più spettatori, è grazie a dieci anni di proiezioni gratuite d'estate. 
So thanks to all of these 10 years of free uh, screenings of films, now we won the legal battle, we won the economic battle, we won the cultural battle. La seconda battaglia politica che abbiamo fatto e che abbiamo vinto la scorsa settimana è stata sulla salvaguardia di questo storico cinema di Roma che è il più storico architettonicamente che è il Cinema America, che è quello che occupammo nel 2012. So the second political battle that we won was just last week, a, di a different Cinema America. We managed to save it. La proprietà privata voleva appunto riconvertirlo in parcheggi e appartamenti e eh, aveva dalla sua parte non solo gran parte del, delle relazioni politiche più forti del paese, ma anche semplicemente lo studio di avvocati più potente del paese in termini di urbanistica, pensate che... Uh, the company uh, wanted to transform this historic cinema into apartments, parking lots, and imagine they had a really strong legal team. Noi avevamo le nostre relazioni politiche nel frattempo, ma le loro erano sempre più grandi. We had our also political relations, but they were, they, theirs were bigger. E il loro studio d'avvocati, per farvi capire, è quello che sta seguendo da anni a Roma la costruzione impossibile che mai arriverà dello stadio della Roma, che è per la città l'investimento più grande. So just to make you understand, their legal team is the one that, for example, has been dealing with the Stadium of Rome, probably one of the biggest projects in the city. E la scorsa settimana l'ultimo grado di giudizio legale ha definitivamente detto di noi i ricorsi della proprietà e quindi il cinema è salvo, non sarà demolito, non sarà riconvertito in parcheggi e appartamenti e noi ora abbiamo chiesto un incontro alla proprietà per cercare di trovare un punto di incontro e gestire e riaprire il cinema. So now the court has uh, done a preservation order, just last week as I mentioned. So basically now the cinema is going to be a cinema, it's not going to be destroyed anymore, and we're talking now managing it and continue the project. Però come nella battaglia prima dell'antitrust, e in questa, si è fatta una scelta. Cioè a noi era stato detto sia sull'antitrust che in questa situazione che potevamo essere un'eccezione all'interno del sistema e non una regola, cioè non fare da precedente per tutti. E invece noi abbiamo deciso di combattere per tutti, cioè di difendere le arene, in quel caso di tutti, per tutti, perché non abbiamo difeso solo la nostra. So in, this, in both of these cases we decided that we didn't want to be the exception of the rule, we wanted to create the rule to fight for everybody. E nel caso delle sale ne abbiamo difesa una per salvarne tutte, e quando c'è stato in questi dieci anni un momento in cui noi non potevamo far nulla per salvare la nostra, per difenderle tutte, le abbiamo difese tutte per salvare la nostra. So we decided that we're going to defend all of the cinemas in order to defend just one ours. Ogni singolo eh, attività speculativa sulle sale cinematografiche a Roma è stata da noi monitorata e bloccata negli ultimi dieci anni, e quindi sono dieci anni che a Roma non si riconvertono in altri usi sale cinematografiche abbandonate. So basically every activity, everything that we did was blocked for a time. All of our activities were blocked. Purtroppo non mi hanno dato una laurea a giurisprudenza honoris causa. Unfortunately they, di they didn't give me a law degree after all of that. Ma siamo il terrore di tutti i palazzinari romani. Um, di, di tutti i costruttori romani. But we're all like constructions, Italian constructions right now. Thank you. Uh, can you, what does it mean that you are now like legally can operate there? Do you have to buy the cinema or are you renting it from the owners? Trattativa riservata. Abbiamo clausole di riservatezza strettissime. Altro, sì. O l'America. No, penso l'America. Il, il cinema che avevamo occupato. No, no, the old one. The Questo? Questo. The first one that no, you occupied and you took up. No. 
l'America. 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 Siamo in trattativa privata, abbiamo clausole di riservatezza, quindi non posso dire nulla. Uh, right now he can't say anything because of all of these legal battles <laughs> and reserve. <laughs> Però la, l'idea finale è quella di un multi, come dicevo l'altro giorno, di un multisala diffuso a cielo aperto, quindi non ho più la cassa del multiplex, non ho più i, la moquette del corridoio tra la sala 1 e la sala 10, ma attraverso i ponti, attraverso il Tevere e vado nelle casse di prossimità e le mie sale, monosale, sono divise dai vicoli di Trastevere. Ma ciò che può dire è che l'obiettivo finale non è di avere tutti i corridori da 1 a 2 e i corridori di screening, ma di avere bridge e cobblestone alley, perché ci sono molti cinema in Trastevere, quindi vuole connettere tutti in un multiplex. Una specie di distretto del cinema che mette insieme la forza di una multisala con le, pu- le peculiarità identitarie della monosala. So basically to put together the strength of a multiplex, but also like a one big hole. E in questo in realtà il cinema America ci cambia poco, cioè è più una questione romantica. Eh, abbiamo altre sale a Trastevere abbandonate, le stiamo valutando tutte. Eh, sicuramente ci sentiamo in dovere rispetto alla questione politica di fare tutto il possibile per riaprire il Cinema America ma se poi la proprietà vuole tenerlo chiuso noi abbiamo vinto uguale perché tanto è semplicemente una negazione che lei fa ai cittadini uh, Right now there are three abandoned cinemas in Trastevere and what we're trying to do is value all of the situation for all of them and try to save them all Per il primo cinema abbiamo ipotecato le case di famiglia, ma non so per il secondo che facciamo. Uh, we, for this one is okay, but for next one we don't know what we're gonna do yet. Any more questions? Giacomo vuole fare palesemente una domanda. Well, you can, Giacomo. Ma sì, ma non ti vergognare. No, but I know very well the story, and so I follow them from the, the childhood, and so on. No, no Lui è un anziano zio. So I know very well, yeah. Maybe I thought it was this like, typical situation that you know a story that you want him to tell, so you wanted to ask the question. Maybe it was that. Quando noi dovevamo aprire i nostri cinema, siamo andati in giro per tutta Italia, da loro, dal cinema Beltrade, dal cinema Messico, eh, dallo Stensen, e gli abbiamo rubato tutte le loro idee e poi abbiamo aperto il nostro cinema. Quando abbiamo voluto aprire i nostri cinema, abbiamo andato in giro per tutta Italia, 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 abbiamo andato in giro per tutta Italia. Posso chiedere una domanda? Perché non mi ricordo se tu in realtà hai fatto questo. Hai compilato, hai messo insieme alcune di queste idee? Publicly or not? Is there a register? Or no. L- l- the, the ideas that the ideas that you took from them, from Beltrade, from Messico. Do you have some kind of uh, website, book, something that you published with the ideas or not? Un, un, un enorme nota sul mio iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> That's a treasure. They, they have a, um, a book about the, this ten year, yeah. the first 10 years of, of the story. There's a lot of pics uh, about... In which uh, we... we narrate, they tell the story, they tell the relation. And they travel on, our, yeah. on their cinema. And they, we, we write that uh, we study their cinema to create our cinema. It's because I, rem- I remember some kind of book, but I don't know if it was about the story or about yeah. like what your findings. I was just saying that... Um, because just for, for you to know that there is n- similar in certain ways, maybe you know them, the project uh, Tour uh, d'Europe de Cinema, uh, which were two, uh, a German uh, French couple that toured around France. Yeah, yeah, Tour de Cinema. Yeah. No, I just wanted to share with the room so that they know that they toured around France and then they toured around Europe gathering like the same thing that that they did around Italy they do it all around Europe and 
it used to be for everything for free online. They took a lot of things down, but they have this wonderful book called Cinema Makers, um, and some reports um, for Europa Cinemas and the CNC that you can find online. It's I, like we completely recommend a purchasing the book to support uh, you know, and and you know ch check them online. If you put uh, Tour de Cinema. Uh, you you will find them, but yeah, just sì, and, and also the Cinema bravo. America book. Did you purchase the Cinema America? Book? Il cine il libro è solo su di noi. Quello è giustamente su tutti. The the book that we uh, had was only for for us. Yeah. Anche anche il nostro libro sulla nostra cioè il nostro libro sulla nostra storia sta sul nostro sito su Cinema Troisi c'è il progetto e c'è tutto il libro di 600 pagine che si può sfogliare con tutta la storia anche in inglese. Uh, all of our story uh, that is in our book can be found on our website is like 600 pages long if you would like to read it it's all there on the Cinema Troisi site. Also in English. Uh, also in English. Yeah. No no sorry. <laughs> Ok, thank you very much. Un applauso a Sergio. A Sergio. <laughs> and and we have um, we er, we ended half an hour earlier, so you know what that means, Sergio. It's your time to to sing. No. <laughs> no. no. If if you want to keep like we have half an hour. <laughs> um, What, what I was going to say is that... No, 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 no but be, prima da mangiare. Um, if, like, we've, we've had three different stories. Um, if, I don't know if you have any reflection or comments or ideas, not only on, on Cinema Troisi, but, uh, you know, in all the presentations, or since we have some time, something regarding of what we've, like a checkup from what we've done up, up until now in the in the lab, it's like we have this safe and open space. Is there anything that you want to comment, react? If not, we give the mic to Valerio and he can keep talking and it's always interesting to know the little stories that he tells about how he managed. Um, no? Marta wants to shout Valerio, Valerio, Valerio just to compensate from last night, okay. Imagine that in Italy, it's um, after the year legal battle for the um, films, for free films uh, from the past that uh, the little towns like uh, us, uh, like mine, uh, could become able to do the cinema, um, the outdoor cinema in the summer for the first time. In Italia erano talmente convinti e sicuri di sé e che nessuno potesse scalfirli e metterli in discussione che l'antitrust ci ha detto che era dai tempi del... Di... Uh, basically, in Italy they were so sure that uh, we won't make it because it's something like that hasn't been done since che era dai tempi degli anni Ottanta che non trovavano così tanta documentazione scritta e registrata che testimoniava un uh, boicottaggio d'intesa <coughs> all'interno della struttura e della filiera cinematografica. So since the 80s was the, the last time that they found such a big written fight from all the cinematographic uh, world. Ogni altro settore bancario, telefonia, eh, ogni altra lobby aveva in qualche modo imparato a non ostentare il proprio potere in questo modo, mentre l'industria cinematografica italiana era convinta di essere completamente intoccabile e inscalfibile. 
So basically all of the other structures uh, like the, the banks know, but the cinema, all of the cinematographic world, they thought they were untouchable. Immaginate che il presidente dei produttori e dei distributori italiani come associazione di categoria, quindi non lo Stato, ma un'associazione privatistica, perché l'associazione di categoria non è un'associazione pubblica. So, uh, private uh, distributors, filmmakers that were not from the state, they were private associations. Aveva scritto al presidente dell'associazione di tutti i comuni italiani di bloccare finanziamenti e concessioni anche per lo spazio pubblico per organizzare arene gratuite nei territori. Uh, so they uh, basically wrote to all the municipalities to block, um, block the, grants. The, the grants. Sì. E la questione dei fondi è molto interessante perché di là della follia del bloccare il suolo pubblico. So the, uh, uh, the question of the funds is very interesting. Eh, al di là del cioè anche quella del suolo pubblico però lasciamola stare perché è, è ridicola so, no, è di no è ridicola cioè nel senso so, uh, in the of the no dicevo che la questione economica ha veramente dell'assurdo come anche quella del della concessione del suolo pubblico ma concentriamoci su quella economica so the economic uh, question is absurd but let's focus on it perché la cosa più importante che ha rilevato l'antitrust è che tutti gli organizzatori, comprese le associazioni di categoria stesse, organizzavano arene a pagamento percependo fondi pubblici. So, um, blocco. Eh, Scusa. Che la maggior parte, facciamo così, la maggior parte degli organizzatori delle arene a pagamento mm -hmm. per il pubblico, quindi per i cittadini. So, basically the major part of the, these uh, funds for the citizens. L'antitrust ha rilevato So the antitrust showed che percepivano fondi pubblici. That they were getting public funds. Soprattutto le associazioni di categoria stesse organizzavano arene a pagamento. So especially the associations. E quindi come può chi riceve finanziamenti pubblici e fa pagare un biglietto ai cittadini dire che non può ricevere finanziamenti pubblici chi non lo fa pagare quel biglietto? So So, uh, who receives the financial funds? How can they say? Come può chi organizza eventi a pagamento con finanziamenti pubblici pretendere? So, who organizes events and get financial funds? Pretendere che chi quel servizio dà gratuitamente ai cittadini non sia sovvenzionato dal pubblico? No, niente. Sorry for my English, you know. He said the, the absurd of this, uh, this situation is that the association of uh, uh, exhibitor and industry uh, and uh, the other industries um, ask to the municipality to don't give the grant to the organizer of this open air. And he asked to how uh, can they Uh, stop the grant to the uh, organizer who ask uh, the payment of a ticket for uh, the screenings and uh, don't give the money to who organize public screenings, screenings without tickets. This is a, a, a concept. So, yeah, uh, no, how someone that gets grants for paid uh, screenings uh, can decide and can push to the point that someone that does it for free can't get any grant you know that the you know yeah the dichotomy or the absurdity of that position of power when you are receiving public money è come se il cittadino che paga le tasse paga le tasse per poi le sue tasse vanno a finanziare un evento a pagamento che lui deve ripagare no in difficoltà So how how can how can the like the citizens who pay taxes how are you, are they then uh, forced to only watch that content paying again like per noi va benissimo che chi organizza eventi a pagamento riceva sovvenzioni pubbliche So for us it's absolutely okay uh, <laughs> 
that for them it's okay that someone that does uh, paid screenings uh, receives public grants. Ma non può essere subordinato al servizio gratuito, altrimenti sarebbe come dire che diamo prima i soldi agli ospedali privati che a quelli pubblici. Un po', un po piano, prego. <laughs> no, but so, could, could you repeat it better sì. slower? Ma, allora, ma, ma, yeah. eh, ripeto, dicevo, eh, darli prima ai privati mm -hmm. sarebbe come dire che si danno prima i soldi pubblici agli ospedali privati ai so, i soldi pubblici okay. agli ospedali privati che, che ai, okay. agli ospedali pubblici ah, that giving the money to, for, the, for the private uh, screeners or the people that screen the exhibitors it would be like um, the equivalent to giving first like public funding to private hospitals it's like their argument for why the, pu the public fr the free screenings should receive that, that funding il servizio culturale nei territori, secondo noi, se non entra in concorrenza con quello a pagamento e quindi proiezioni di vecchi film, deve essere un servizio in qualche modo che lo Stato, il pubblico, garantisce come accesso alla cultura per la crescita del cittadino e della società. So the, the screening of non-competitive films, so therefore films that are not in the release circuit, so technically one that are at least one year older, uh, should be part of the public service given by the state. Ma ripeto, tutto questo si è risolto perché al di là della questione giuridica abbiamo vinto sul piano culturale ed economico. Mm -hmm. Il fatto che adesso tutti i distributori vogliano i film dentro il cinema Troisi è importante perché erano gli stessi distributori che prima non ci davano i film, mentre ora dentro il Troisi li vogliono tutti. So basically now everything uh, has been uh, fixed and all distribu distributors, all of these problems have been fixed. So, thank you. Sorry, but I have, sorry, I have a question, like, um, because it is, uh, it is complicated, um, So, um, let, let me try to phrase it, um, and, and it's not that I don't agree, I'm just putting different views together because in Spain uh, we have some kind of similar conversations regarding cinematechs. If, like, if um, public funding is, the, if, if we take your idea to the fullest, in a way, it's very difficult for private entities to try and create a business model around uh, non-release, non-new films. Do you know what I mean? If I'm a cinema in, in Rome, in Trastevere, that's not Troisi, and I want to um, develop that audience, the same goal that you have, It's impossible for me to do it if I don't access the funds, public or private, because I will need the ticket price to fund the initiative. So it is a thin line, which I, again, I don't, I, it's not that I'm against what you said, but it, I, 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 what I mean is that in certain places, it, it, it is complicated because, for example, in Santander, a city in the north of Spain, a cinema had to close because, amongst other things, a public serviced cinema com ended up competing in a way because for him as a normal cinema to work, for, for, for him as a normal cinema to work, he had to combine release and retrospective and da da da, but always with the paid ticket. So it created this gray area. Again, I'm, I'm in favor of your concept, but there are certain situations where there are gray areas that I don't have the answer to yet, but it's the conversations that we've been having with some colleagues in Spain. Like, where is the line? All right, the, this question is very important because the, uh, um, the, our reflection, reflection, Uh, of the group uh, from two years ago is the reproducibilità to replay the model to, to reproduce the model in the other country in the 
speak in the little city, in the, not in the capital, okay? Uh, in which we have a sponsor, uh, the state, the palace of the power. And, and uh, this is our, oh, no, 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 no. this is our question because we don't create a, a model for us, but for all. And the battle uh, in the, with the antitrust, with the old cinema, to save the old cinema, is for, for whole people. And uh, we think that we have the start condition that uh, uh, che noi dovremmo studiare perché, perché oggi sembriamo una realtà che because ha sponsor e finanziamenti e lo siamo seem like a, a uh, ma dieci anni fa eravamo te we like e andavamo per tutti i commercianti di pia della piazza dove è nato il festival a chiedere a ognuno 100 euro so we had to go to all of the, the square to ask everybody for money abbiamo chiesto commerce. brutti film gratis We ask for very ugly, bad films for free. Abbiamo chiesto a registi amici di venire gratis. We had to ask our, all of our, our filmmakers friends for films. E da un negozio di Trastevere siamo arrivati a parlare con la catena del più grande negozio di giocattoli. So for example from a shop in Trastevere, a very little shop in Trastevere went to like the biggest chain for toys. Quindi sì, la riproducibilità è un tema che mi pongo nel senso che io ho ottenuto una, uno status di forza e quindi devo fare qualcosa per, affinché anche gli altri abbiano la stessa possibilità. So I obtained a very important status uh, and I really want to fight for all the others to get the same opportunity. E la trasformazione del, della società passa per la trasformazione normativa legale e quindi noi a quello miriamo. So what is our goal for association to become even more stronger? Perché non esiste nessuna battaglia culturale senza quella giuridica because uh, there is no cultural battle that is not also uh, legal. Mi fa molto ridere chi ha contestato le nostre battaglie legali dicendo ah, ma le battaglie si fanno culturali. Le battaglie um, culturali non esistono, sono, sono fini a se, sono effimere. For us it's very strange when somebody says that these are cultural battles because they're not only cultural. Finché non cambia il sistema normativo non è cambiato nulla nella società. Until they don't change the, the system, the nominal system, this is not going to change. Ma in ogni caso rivendico che non avevo nessun contatto di cinema, non avevo un contatto politico e non avevo il contatto con nessuno sponsor quando ho iniziato questa storia. Quindi il vero elemento è stata la città di Roma, in cui tutto è possibile rispetto ad altre città. Ma di so, questo eh, non possiamo aver colpa eh, perché allo stesso, no, no, allo stesso tempo è anche la città più complessa, perché è la città più controllata dal punto di vista politico. We didn't have a single contact, not political, not anything, but we were in Rome, which was a great advantage, but at the same time it's even more complicated. Il consiglio è sempre provarci e scrivere a tutti, perché molte volte tanti autori, registi o sponsor, semplicemente uno non li contatta. Ad esempio, c'è successo che... C'era un film Vortex di Gaspar Noé che nessuno aveva distribuito in Italia e basta domandare delle email o scrivere al Metrograph e chiedere un po' di restauri da Millennium Mambo a Possession e, e molte volte hanno anche dei contratti di esclusiva che noi incontriamo ma parlando si superano i problemi. Uh, basically, my advice is that you should always contact people, uh, sponsors or different distributors because sometimes... This is what people don't do. You just have to try and write to them and things will work out. Uh, the thing is, that, like, my question or uh, not question, like, my doubt is in the legal battle. Um, not, obviously, I understand the context of Rome and I really appreciate that because in Rome, with its pros and its cons, You've made this, and then, you know, Marta now can do things, you know, in, in Cinema Giotto. But legally, my doubts, where I, I don't have an answer, I'm just having the conversations, is, um, ha like, how do we finish to write the new law so that, um, so that the non-competition and the competition works 
independently, you know, not so that you so that you don't so that someone that doesn't have the sponsors and the public funding doesn't get competed by someone that does you know i know yeah 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 but it's look no a lot no No, non è una domanda diretta, è, uh, no, è un, no, no, una no, questione. No, 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 capito. Allora, se, for me, don't exist, didn't exist, don't exist the, the conflict. Because uh, we are non, non lucral, non, non, non profit. No profit foundation, and you, you have a society. Ah, no profit, no profit. ok, but if the same, uh, with the same structure, uh, we change the po politics and the government. Non, uh, non dobbiamo pensare a equiparare noi due, we don't perché have il, to problema, to il problema principale non è il rapporto tra noi due, perché sono convinto che anche io sono due anni che rischio di non avere i finanziamenti e a differenza di quel che si dice, devo veramente fare delle guerre per averli. I also risk not to have finance, so I have to also battle for money Ma perché for alla finance. politica in questo momento sicuramente piaci più tu che io, perché io ho dimostrato di essere entrato nel loro sistema ed averlo fatto cadere. So Quindi io right ho illusi di potermi controllare per poi come un cavallo di Troia attaccare. Yeah. <laughs> So he said, uh, politics probably prefers you rather than me because I made all of their system crumble. It was like a Trojan horse. E, e ora noi sappiamo che è arrivato il momento a cui a noi verranno levati i finanziamenti e questo semplicemente perché la politica controlla i finanziamenti, perché le commissioni dei finanziamenti sono composte da persone che vivono di incarichi pubblici e quindi rispondono alla politica, non sono tecnici. So right now politics control the, uh, all the financial parts. E nella nostra idea a lungo termine c'è l'eliminazione del finanziamento pubblico dalle nostre attività per rendere inutile la politica e a quel punto avere più forza per cambiarla. So right now what we want to do is uh, <laughs> l'obiettivo è levare i finanziamenti pubblici dalle nostre attività. Ad esempio, nella partita del Cinema America non stiamo coinvolgendo alcun ente pubblico. So for, uh, right now our goal is to remove all of the uh, public bodies, all the financial uh, finance from the public bodies. Perché l'unica utilità che ora ha la politica nei nostri confronti sono i soldi. Non Because ci dà nient'altro, penso in nessun paese. Because the only necessity for politics right now is the finance. Sono re le realtà di base che trainano i territori. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Sono le realtà di base che trainano i territori, non, non, non la politica. So it's not the, it's not the politics that's important in the end. E se noi leviamo alla politica il potere contrattuale dei soldi, a quel punto noi possiamo cambiarla e riscrivere insieme questa formula che secondo me deve garantire a tutte le realtà piccole come eravamo noi dieci anni fa l'accesso ai finanziamenti so we want to change right now the, the legal side of things so that che per tre anni ok in Italia c'è faccio un esempio in Italia c'è una legge che ora si è conclusa che è uh, for example right now there is a law in Italy that has just finished che consentiva di finanziare la riapertura di vecchi cinema that gave uh, finance to reopening old cinemas Allora dicevo che in Italia c'è questa legge per finanziare la riapertura di vecchi cinema. Ok? E, e noi abbiamo partecipato. 
And we participated in it. To reopen the cinema Truisi, the second cinema. And we, ought, we win the, the finance of one million, but the... Ma la, la, sì, ma i soldi arrivavano dopo la fine dei lavori, a 90 giorni dalla fine del, della ristrutturazione del cinema. So, uh, we applied, but the money were to come after all of the work has been done. Questo significa che solo chi aveva il capitale già da anticipare poteva ristrutturare cinema. Which means that only people that had capital beforehand could have been able to, to do it. Sarebbe stato più giusto che ci fossero stati 6-7 step di saldo. It would have been better to have given us just a bit of advance at least. Per garantire a tutti l'accesso al finanziamento e soprattutto la possibilità di utilizzarlo. So to guarantee everybody the access to it and the possibility to do it. E io al tempo ho detto che questa cosa era sbagliata, ma ero l'unico piccolo in mezzo ai grandi che aveva un cinema da ristrutturare. So at the time I was the only little guy to say it in midst of everybody else and I had a cinema to restore. E così abbiamo dovuto ipotecare le case per avere dalla banca 700.000 euro di anticipo per finanziare il cinema. Questo presuppone un altro status sociale, che hai delle case di proprietà e so che queste hanno un valore tale. So uh, this is why we had to get from the bank a loan, uh, 600.000 euro. Ma no, no, ricco no, no, ricco no, però sì, esatto, ma la cosa But, importante è che hai uno status sociale personale che ti consente di mettere a garanzia delle case che hanno un valore, poi ne abbiamo messe varie, non era solo la mia, c'era anche quella di Federico, ce n'erano tre case tra diverse famiglie, che però hanno un valore tale. Ma praticamente hai dovuto avere un status personale high status per poter mantenere tutto questo lavoro. Altrimenti... No, it's like the, the, they needed the uh, financial status for the bank to give them the, the loan in order to get them. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, e quindi io penso che la vera risoluzione di quello che dici tu sia distruggere questo. So cioè tra noi è una lotta tra poveri. So I, I think that the real solution for what you're offering to destroy it, because it's a battle of, of poor people. Just so, just so you know, I mean, I was playing devil's advocate, you know, the, like, um, I don't know how to say that in Italian, okay? Um, because in a way, I've been you in Palma, and private for-profit entities were against that us, a non-profit, were doing all this work. So, and we've also been like 10 years talking of what can we do, what can't we do, so, i, I, what I mean is that what I, I wanted to keep it in is in that that those that legal battle of how to define the law is is a very interesting path. However, um, and and using the fact that we're almost almost there, um, uh, because I received like the common law, this is only interesting for Italy or whatever. Um, I I I I have to disagree because. Well, the well, well, Mirona, with all with all due respect, um, the the session officially uh, like we opened the space for questions for different aspects. The moment that you didn't have questions and comments about the presentations done, I literally said maybe we can talk about something else that had been happening, or comments, or reactions, da da da. So at that point, personally, and you are completely free to disagree, um, the situation opened up. No, no, yeah, yeah. We opened it up to whatever happened. Then this conversation uh, started, and it's true that due to the translation, the conversation, it's more difficult to follow, and I want to also apologize. Okay, you're disponible to go to France. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, no, no, but, no, it, but it's, it's not, it, like, it's a conversation that happened, and I understand the translation makes it more difficult to follow, and I also want to apologize to you, because, because we pseudo-understand each other, I made it even more difficult for you to, to do it, but, um, so, A, just to summarize, it is, it is relevant 
to the topic that opened up when you as a lab decided that had no other questions regarding that. A number and no, yeah, but and, 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 and no, no, but I, I'm not saying if, if you if you let me finish, please, Mirona. Okay. Yep. I, I'm just I'm 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 just telling you if I can finish, then you can answer. So I'm just un, I'm answering to what you told me. I know, no, and se but secondly, I just want. Secondly, I just wanted to say that I disagree the, with the fact that it is only Italy relevant because at least uh, it is relevant in Spain also. And from other conversations that I had, for example, in Romania, in Cluj, because of the uh, legal situation and of the fundings, maybe I thought it could be interesting to other countries that have those legal problems. And I know that the that their cause goes is very political and you know he talks about destroying the system and that can sound uh you know it can drift and it can lose interest and i understand that and i completely agree that i understand that but just so you know where it came from and you can disagree obviously and i'm sorry if the the last part of the of the conversation wasn't interesting to you or to any of you but i just wanted to contextualize how we got there and uh, if if next time if we finish the session regarding this presentations half an hour before we just close it and we have free time and you can do whatever you want to do and we learn together if this didn't work we will learn together and that's it and we'll close it half an hour earlier there's no problem but I just wanted to know that it, this wasn't uh, Valerio and I having a conversation that you were forced to listen to and it was only First of all, this is a lab, so we learn from each other, yeah? So also, it can be also not very strict because it's adapting on our needs or all our needs. And that's why sometimes, yeah, a subject like this, of course, it's a burden subject and it's Im very important, as uh, also our colleague uh, Giacomo said, it's very important. I can uh, uh, agree on this, but we are in a lab that we are together uh, and sometimes you feel also the participants that if it's, of course, in Romania, it was in Cluj, very interesting topic. It, uh, of course, it is still. But we are together in this lab today here in at Sofia. <laughs> yeah. Ma posso dire una cosa io? Ma non è obbligata ad ascoltare. Cioè, nel senso, chi vuole sta qui, se no gli altri escono, puoi tradurre. Because for me, I was I was very interested, and I wanted to ask. Of course, I can ask also at uh, the lunch time. It's not a problem. I, I mean, it's not only these uh, 30 minutes that I have to ask something. Sorry, I, I don't speak Italian. I, I also saw that you didn't participate at the others' uh, presentation, so I, uh, maybe it's also a sort of uh, lack of interaction between us. So uh, what I wanted actually to ask uh, the, the other participants was uh, more related to the second presentation, which had also very short time in the slot. I don't know, maybe we didn't know exactly how much time we have if it's, uh, you know, like, uh, like yesterday we had a bit more like an exercise after the presentation. So maybe this was also my the question. presentations, yeah, Midona, yeah. like they knew the time <laughs> they had. I mean, we yeah, can yeah. analyze, mm -hmm. we can analyze it uh, at the end of the lab if you want. You can do the review afterwards. The, pres the, the presenters knew how much time they had and they decided to do the presentation of the Very length short. of their willing. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, I, the, I, I can't pressure them to of make course. longer presentations. Yeah. And we did, we've done, uh, I think that the lab has shown that we are adaptive, just e even if it's only two things. You asked for a change yeah. regarding Q&A, yeah. we've done it. Yeah. Uh, we've, uh, and the second adaptation is that there weren't questions nor in, let's call it your Q&A slot, yeah. nor in the previous Q&A slot, because after the three presentations, we offered the floor for people to ask. Yeah. Someone asked, Andres asked and we kept going, then no one else asked, then we and then we adapted to, oh, we have this 30-minute useful, useful space, 
How can we use that? If so we just we want to kill the time, uh, it's not no. the moment because you don't. I mean, I I'm agree that uh, it's your way, and I agree that no, uh, I respect also your way. I'm just, I'm just telling do. that we're trying to adapt. Yeah. That we're trying. You're saying that we yeah. have to adapt. Well, we try to adapt. Sorry if we failed <laughs> adapting to your to your needs, but we tried. We'll I try. Don't think we'll it's try just better my later. Needs. Well, yeah. no, to you because you are not talking <laughs> yeah, yeah. to all of you. I sorry if Thank our you. adaptation failed to your needs. Uh, we have one hour to have lunch and talk about whatever you, you need, even though.